Okay, so in this video, we want to quickly go over this special integral that will very often come up when we integrate rational f uh, functions using the method of partial fractions. And so here, if you look, we are looking at the integral of x over x squared plus k, where k is any constant, and we integrate, of course, with respect to x here. And if you look, this is a very straightforward integration problem, as our denominator is x squared plus k. The derivative of this with respect to x is 2x. Up to a multiple of 2, this is just x which multiplies the expression. And so this is, of course, a perfect setup for a u substitution. So if you let u be the denominator, x squared plus k, I will let you complete the substitution as it is very straightforward. You will arrive at an answer of a half the ln of x squared plus k. Keeping in mind here that we do need to keep the absolute value as k could be negative. So this could be, for example, x squared minus 10. And that's it. So every time that you integrate a rational function using the method of partial fraction, if this integral comes up, you will no longer have to perform the u substitution and you can jump directly from the integral to its final answer, being a half the ln in absolute value of the denominator, plus of course c. And as always, you can verify this in 10 seconds. If you simply differentiate your answer, you will get back the original function, right? If you differentiate this as a simple check, suppose that you want to skip the u substitution, and you're thinking, okay, is this integral really equal to this? Well, differentiate. One half will stay there. The derivative of ln is 1 over the argument, so 1 over x squared plus k. But that's just the derivative of ln by the chain rule times the derivative of the argument, which is, of course, 2x. As k is a constant, the derivative of k is 0. And now you have what? Well, 2 times a half cancels. And if you combine, you're left with x over x squared plus k, which indeed is the function that we were integrating. So there you go. So again, from now on, whenever this integral comes up in integrating a rational function with the method of partial fractions, you can go directly from the integral being equal to this. And if you're ever unsure if you have the right function, just differentiate it and check that you get the original function, or worst case, perform the u substitution again, but I will not require you to do so. And that's it.